Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tough for Tough Blazer and welcome back to another video here on the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my inventory. This is basically four and a half years worth of stuff, I guess. That's how long I've been playing, so... Got some pretty rare and valuable stuff in here, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And of course, if you guys want to comment as well, I will get back to all the comments. So, let's get right into it. So this is my inventory. I'm going to scroll through just to kind of give you guys perspective on the size of it. But a lot of it is legacy items. If you don't know what those are, it's basically just stuff that you could have gotten from really just playing the game uh, before free to play. And it also includes some of the DLCs, the Rocket League original DLCs. Um, the reason I say that, some of the other DLCs like the Batmobile one and the Skyline, those were partnerships with other companies. So as a result, those were a limited time. But um, before we go into those items, I guess I can also show you guys uh, some of this as well. So we got the banners, which, you know, got some pretty decent ones. So season 14, I really didn't play. That's why we only have up to gold here. Um, same with uh, season 5, actually, we got to diamond. Yeah. So this is back when... They announced dragons were going to be on the banners. It kind of became a meme in the community. Nobody really liked it, to be honest. So they just gave these as well, which I like that way better. Um, then you got the season seven ones as well. I think this was the champion one, if I'm not mistaken. So I had that. And um, learn that. That's pretty much that. And these are also all of my titles. I'm just going to go through those. And uh, yeah, we got a couple of the tournament winner titles. But if you've won a tournament more than three times, you'll get the colored version. But you'll also keep the non-colored version. So that's why those are down here. And we have the established 2016 one because that's when I started playing Rocket League. And these are the main ones. So we've got the Season 1 Grand Champ, Season 1 RNG Champ. Season 2 Grand Champ, and we've also got the Season 11 and 13 ones, and the Season 1, Season 2, three-time Champ Tourney winners. So, I like the Season 1 Grand Champ one. I feel like that is a little bit more valuable than really any of these ones, but then again, I'm not too sure. So, let's get right into the, the sauce right here, the main stuff. So, I'm going to be showing it through the customized, just so you guys can see them. So let's start with the White Octane, and I basically got this thing when the Painted Octanes first came out, um, and the only way you could have gotten them were through these certain import trade-ups, because in the past you could only go up to very rare, but they finally expanded it to import and exotic trade-ups. I don't actually know if black market trade-ups were possible yet then, but... I got this right when it came out, it was about 20 keys, and when I refer to keys, basically one key is 100 credits, so like 10 keys is 10 bucks, and that was basically the currency before Epic Games bought Rocket League. So pretty much right after I got this thing, it just shot up in price, it got to 100 keys pretty quickly, which is kind of around what it is now, it's a little bit more though. So I got really lucky with this purchase, and there's honestly no way I could have gotten a White Octane now if I didn't already have it, so... Uh, yeah, been using that ever since. It's uh, definitely my favorite, for sure. And then we've got the White Fennec. So I got this in the Rocket League item shop. It's probably been over a year now since I've had this, I'm not too sure though. But... I basically got this right around when the Fennec hype was kind of near its apex. Uh, Shazet, he had just won with PSG the one of the tournaments. And so the Fennec got a ton of hype off of that. And I saw the white Fennec in the item shop one day. And I decided to, I decided to cop it. I didn't use it right away, but I knew 
pros were praising it like crazy, so it was definitely a car to give a shot, and eventually I did, and I used it for a couple months before going back to Octane, and now I kind of just use whatever car I feel, that's kind of what the pros do as well, um, they just kind of use whatever car they're feeling, and if you look at my latest montage, the 2020 montage, you'll see most, maybe not most, but a good chunk of the clips are in the Fennec. And then we've got the Titanium White Dominus. This was also in the item shop, but funny enough, it's considered an exotic body. But I use this a lot whenever I'm freestyling randomly. I don't really do that at all anymore, but uh, whenever a buddy and I just pop in casuals and freestyle, this is like one of my go-to cars for that. And it's the second most used car that I've used. I uh, really love the Dominus, but... It's quite different than the Octane, so just been sticking the Octane, but yeah, the Dominus and Fennec, these are not tradable by the way, and I also should have mentioned this, um, all the items that I'm showing, they're not for sale, like I'm, I'm not putting them up for trades or anything, um, for, for multiple reasons, and some of them aren't even tradable anyways. Um, Harbinger and Remix, these are from the Battle Passes, the Season 1 and 2 Rocket Passes. And then the Batmobile, nothing much to really talk about here. Just one of the limited collaboration DLCs. Uh, very popularized by Cooksier early on in Rocket League. And, yeah. Next we got the decals. So, the Titanium White Lone Wolf. Funny enough... It's probably my most used decal in this entire inventory. So, I got this... I basically had to trade up one of my black markets. I think it was maybe my 20XX. And I got the Titanium White Lone Wolf plus extra keys. Honestly worth it. Because I really like the simplicity of this White Lone Wolf. Been using it for years now. And the extra keys I was able to put towards something else. Which, you know, I can't remember. It's been way too long. But just to compare it to the actual Lone Wolf, just so you guys can see, there you go. So you can definitely tell the differences there. And it's definitely an iconic preset for me. This is my orange as well. Really nice with the gold. And as you can see with the paint finish, we have Anodize, which is a very rare paint finish. I don't have Anodize Pearl, but I really love the Anodize. Definitely my favorite one that I have. And then we've got Fancy Formal. This was in the item shop a couple months back. And, I mean, this thing is amazing, man. There's very few decals out there that are, like, almost all black. Or, you know, a bit of white in there. But the Fancy Formal, it has that. So, um, really dope. Right, because if you go to the colors here, you can't make any of your primaries black. You have to get a specific decal. So that's what the fancy formal provides. And then we've got my season one decals. Um, these three are probably my favorite. The diamond, the gold, and the grand champ. Uh, the grand champ is really clean. I like the red. There's a lot going on, but it's still really nice. But you can probably tell why I like the diamond and the gold. As you can see, these are my colors right now. Um... And then Black Interstellar, this was also in the item shop a couple months ago. This is the only black market I've gotten from there. And me personally, I really like the black over the white Interstellar. I don't know why, I just do. Uh, the simplicity, yet the, the detail of this decal is really what I like about it. More than some of the other black markets. Alright, now the wheels. This is kind of the spicy part of the video. You guys are probably wondering, tough, you have all of these wheels, and you're using the Christianos, man, why is that? Well, let me tell you. Um, for some reason, I just feel the fastest, the super speedy in these wheels when I'm playing the game. When I'm using other wheels, it just throws me off, my gameplay feels very clunky, and I don't know, it just doesn't feel smooth, whereas with these wheels, the Christianos... I feel like I'm playing really fast in them. You'll see a lot of like higher rank players, high, uh, pro players even, just using basic wheels like the Christianos. 
and that's why. And it's because the slight psychological effect that the wheels have is it's pretty important, right? You want to make sure your mentality is there when you're playing games, uh, competitive games. And for me, you know, I'm always trying to be the best I can, so I feel like these wheels help me play a little bit better. So that's why I use the Christianos. Now let's talk about the Titanium White Bionic NRG wheels. So uh, back when the eSports shop was like the item shop with rotating items, I saw this in here maybe about a year ago. And I'm a huge NRG fan. They are my favorite Rocket League team since RLCS Season 3 when I got into eSports for Rocket League. And I saw these and yeah, just had to cop. Favorite team, Titanium White. And I only saw it once, then again. It might have been in the item shop multiple times, but the one time I did see it, you know, I had to had to get them for sure. It's the only eSport item I've ever gotten. I don't have any other eSport item, so... It's funny too, because these kind of look like ice cream sandwiches from this point of view. It's pretty funny. Um, and then we've got the Titanium White Mandalas. Infinite Mandalas. So, these were from the Season 1 Rocket Pass. This is like the one item I really love from that Rocket Pass. I mean, there's really not much to say, man. It's just... Look at this. Super clean. If we compare these to the normal Mandalas... It's, it's got... It, I don't know. It just... It seems so much better, in my opinion. Then... The Titanium White Zokos. If you guys haven't seen the tournament opening video, the 1.2 mil... Go check that out, but I'm pretty sure you, you probably have if you're watching this video. Um, but I like these. There, there is quite a bit of animation going on, but they're still fairly clean. Um, I think the Titanium White makes these things look really good. Then the Crimson Wonderments. This was actually in the shop as well. I know I keep saying a lot of these were in the shop. Um, but pretty much the stuff I'm showing from the shop are the only things I got from the shop. And this was a couple years back during one of the winter events. These were in the shop and they are really nice. Really, really nice. Obviously, I don't have like a color to go with it right now, but there you go. The Season 3 Star Wheels, these are one of my favorite wheels ever. So Rocket League Season 3 was the first season I played Rocket League. Not this Season 3, but the previous one. And when they announced these wheels, I was around Challenger. Once they announced these wheels were going to be the Season Reward wheels, I started grinding even crazier than I already was. And I was able to get these. And I was super hyped, man. These look really nice. Um, playing in them does feel a bit clunky, but as I said, when I'm just having fun, you know, not trying to sweat. These are definitely some of my go-to wheels in the design. Because blue is my favorite color, so... You know, that's kind of a big reason why I really love these wheels. Any Anything blue is amazing. Okay, then we got the Daichi Oros. These were one of the items that you could have gotten for free from Rocket League if you did buy the game before free-to-play. And they're kind of like the Walmart Goldstone Alpha wheels, so... There you go, but these are really nice. Very nice. The Titanium White Dracos. Now, my crate luck in in my years of Rocket League have not really been the best. But believe it or not, this is an item I actually pulled. And it's funny too, because when I got these, I was playing on like a crappy laptop. So, you know, it didn't have the power to record, screen record like I'm doing right now. So I recorded me opening the crate on my phone. And I was in a group chat with two of my homies that, you know, also played Rocket League. And I somehow got this. And we were all just kind of flipping out, dude. It was crazy. Um, But the, these are very meaningful. And when I got these, these were going for around 100-something keys. In fact, these, when I got them, were going for more than the White Zombas. And obviously now they are significantly less 
but I didn't trade them. That's the thing. I probably should have traded them. And then, you know, once they got to the price they were now, bought them again and had those extra credits. But, you know, I didn't know they were going to go down, obviously. And this is like the only really rare item that I've pulled out of a crate, not including tournament stuff. So it was pretty meaningful. So I wanted to keep it. But there you go. That's the story behind that. And finally, the Decenium Pros. This is the rarest item that I have in my entire inventory. And you got these from going to the RLCS Season 3 LAN event. So, this was almost four years ago now, which is crazy to think about, but... It, it was insane, man. It was absolutely insane. Um, I got to meet so many different Rocket League creators, like John Sandman... Johnny Boy, Kronovi, I saw Wolfles as well, but, you know, he was kind of doing his own thing. But John Sam, man, he was, he was incredibly chill, bro. It's not like, you know, I went up to him, we got a picture, and that was it. Like, no, we had an actual conversation for a little bit, and he's a super genuine guy. The guy you see on the videos, that's, that's the genuine John Sam, man, because a lot of people you guys see on the videos, they just act, and then in real life... They might be a crappy person. John is not like that. He's he's absolutely amazing. Also, another funny thing about that event. During the grand finals, my dad and I, we were just watching. And then Kronovi and his girlfriend, Kia, they actually come over. And they ask, like, hey, guys, you mind if we sit here? And we're like, oh, yeah, you guys are, you guys can sit here for sure, yeah. And so, freaking Kronovi, the, the Rocket League legend was sitting right next to me during the Grand Finals. And if you guys are wondering, like, you know, did I, did I get a picture? Did I, you know, ask for an autograph or whatever? No, I didn't want to annoy him, right? I didn't want his viewing experience to be distracted by me, so I just kept quiet. And I'd already gotten a picture with him earlier, so... I, I just decided to not, you know, disturb him, but... There were a bunch of other people going up to him when he was sitting, and you know he was taking autographs, getting pictures. So it was pretty cool, man. Uh, Kronovi, he's he's definitely a very chill guy, for sure. So that's the Decenium Pro story. Um, by the way, the price for these, I don't know. There's so few of them out there. The only way you can acquire these is if someone gives you a code. Once the code is entered, obviously you can't get them anymore. So not only were they limited quantity to begin with. But as codes are being entered, the, the quantity is decreasing. So getting your hands on these, I don't know if it's possible anymore or you'd have to pay a ridiculous amount. So that's kind of how rare that is. Now I have Bacchus mod on. Let me actually go ahead and disable that. But I don't really care too much for the boost. Um, I just use Bacchus mod for Alpha's boost. And even before Bacchus mod, I used Alpha console. So I didn't really care too much about boost, but I did get the Golden and Faded Cosmos for, uh, with the Daichi Oros for having the game before free-to-play. Of course, we got the new GC Season Reward Trail, which I honestly think doesn't look too bad. It's not terrible. But of course, I just took the Alpha Boost. The Alpha Boost is one of those things as well where you just feel the fastest in that boost compared to other boosts. I don't know why. Um, toppers, I've never really cared for. It just, it just kind of obstructs your vision. So I don't bother with those, but I used to back in the day. And the flags, I know a lot of people don't really like the flags, but for me, you know, I gotta rock my Phoenix Suns flag. You can't get these flags anymore, unfortunately, but when I got into the game, this was still a thing, so you know I had to get it. Basketball, huge fan of it. I've watched every Suns game this season, last season, year prior. So, yeah, I've just been rocking this literally since I got it. So, out of any of the items I'm rocking, this has been the one that's stuck the longest. So, and here are the goal explosions. So, I don't really have, like, too much outside of the tournament stuff, but... We got the pink and the orange Digi Globes. 
And then we've got the purple Hades Bomb, Sky Blue Hades Bomb, and the white Hades Bomb. I love all of these Hades Bombs, and the Digi Globes, I, I don't personally think they're as good as the Hades Bombs, but if you guys didn't know, these are from the Season 1 tournaments. Then we've got the Titanium White Light Show, I believe from the last Battle Pass. I love the Light Show Gold Explosion, so of course the white one is really dope. And this was a season reward as well. I don't remember which season. I want to say season 7-ish, something like that. But that was like the best goal explosion you could get, I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong though. And of course we've got our hand hearts. And that's pretty much it for the goal explosions. So, nothing too crazy there. As for the trail... Rocking the Season 4 Diamond. I've just been rocking this ever since I got it, to be honest with you. Not really been biggest on trails either, but I did grind really hard to get Diamond in Season 4. And so this kind of means a lot. Kind of just shows the grind that I put in, I guess. And that's pretty much it. So, oh, one more thing I want to show you guys. If I go to my Dominus, I actually have a preset for this. I just call it Jazer because it's like my freestyle car. But one of the decals I really like is the white Mondo. Now, my friend, he kind of got me on the Mondo hype. I know a lot of people hate on it. It gets an undeserved amount of hate. Okay. But it is really clean. And this is the difference between them. It's pretty subtle. But there you go, in case you were wondering. I somehow pulled this out of, like, a crate or something, which is kind of crazy. I guess you could consider that pretty good luck, but some people probably don't care as much. And just kind of looking through my inventory one last time. Um, uncommons, nothing really that we haven't covered. Rares, it's really just the Mondo and the Lone Wolf. So we got those. Very rares... Um, yeah, pretty much got everything there. Import. Yep, that's pretty much good to go. Exotics. So I guess the Black Agasayas and the Crimson Pop-Top Inverted, those are the best exotics we got from the Season 1 tournaments. And these are all my Black Markets. So, nothing like insane, besides the Hades Bombs. Um, I'm really mad about this, dude. We got four risers in Season 1 of the tournaments. Which is very unlucky. I didn't get a single Righteous Gale. None of these were painted. I can't do anything with these. I just have four of these boys sitting here. It is what it is, though. And then we've also got some of the blueprints. So, two notable ones. Titanium White Gravity Bomb. I got this out of a trade-up one, I think. Or I just... Got it out of a game after playing a game. So I really like this. It's 2500 I, I'm just going to wait. I probably won't buy this for a bit, but I like it. And then we've got the sky blue solar flare as well, which I think looks very clean. And as for the exotics, you know, just titanium white. I'm a guest. Imports, we do have the titanium white twinser. Basically like a, a little bit of a worse version than the Octane, but I, I thought that was pretty cool. And other than that, Blackia mains. Dude, these look pretty clean, man. So I will keep that in mind. But that is pretty much it for the inventory, guys. So to end off the video, I'm actually going to open up some of the new drops I got. So... We'll see what we get. Probably not going to get anything too crazy. Um, you know what? We'll take a rare out of an uncommon drop. I'm down. Maybe another rare? Okay, an uncommon this time. Let's see what we get. I guess this technically adds to our inventory, so there you go. Adding some new stuff to the collection. Alright, we got a rare, nothing too crazy, Pollo Caliente, that's a classic decal right there. Last one. Alright, we got a rare. So, nothing too crazy, Sticker Bomb, another classic. 
Can I do a trade in? Um, no, I'm one off. I could, you know, trade these in. You know what? Let's do it. Okay, that's pretty much it. We'll just trade these up real quick. And now, trade all these up. And now we have a chance. Oh, shoot. Never mind. Wait, no, we already have an and dies, so this is actually okay. So here we go. Let's trade these up. We have a chance at a white octane. Ah, uh, we got a tactician synth wave. So, uh, a little bit underwhelming. Yeah, we still had the other anodized, so that ended up being just fine. Well, there you have it, guys. That was the video. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.